Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you taking the time to visit and check out my video. And this is a... The track temp is 35, the air temp is 28 Celsius. Uh, we're here in East Seniors just doing a, a fun race. Um, so again, not a not a huge field, but we do have uh, Wolf Sliner in front of me and Peter Lar uh, Johan Larson, I'm sorry next to him so i got those guys in front of me i'm in the aston martin trying to give some the aston martin some love and uh doing a test recording first time i'm doing a recording with obs so again just wanting to make sure it comes out okay um so again um let's see how this race goes one pit stop fuel and tires Like I said, we'll have to see how it goes with Aston Martin. Um, you know, qualified third. Didn't run as good as I did in practice, but I'm changing things every time, trying to get the setup dialed in. Um, I've changed a lot. I put some legs on my uh, my rig, so I got that up a few inches. Um, so I changed the ride height of that. <laughs> Finally got some nice, really nice legs to go in the channels. Um, So kind of just adjusting all kinds of stuff. Unfortunately, my wheel's not working right. My great wheel that my Gomez, I just, I had, uh, you didn't see it on the stream last night. The three hours I had at uh, Red Bull Ring, it must have went out like 10 times. I, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, keeps disconnecting and then reconnecting and, re, you know, and all that. So I got to figure out what's going on with it. I can't. I don't have the time right now. I did mess with it a little bit, but it still didn't help. Um, so I'm back to my original wheel uh, that come with Ace Attack, the Forte, which it's not a bad wheel. It's just it's so it's lots it's smaller than the uh, um, Gomez, and it just it it feels so fragile <laughs> compared to that thing. That thing is like a tank, and this Forte is just very small. So it kind of changes the forces. So you got to change a lot of things. You know, I got to change my force feedback, change this, change that. Because you just don't have the leverage. So I about killed my arms. Hoping it won't kill them now because I've really been making this kind of a last minute jump in. I was actually going to run the AMG again. And um, just ran a little while with the Aston Martin and was running a little faster even though the setup's not dialed in. So I was like, well, shoot. I mean, I'd run the Aston Martin, see what it does. Give it a little love here. What happened? Where did uh, the other guy go? Where's Wolf Sliner or whoever? Get back in the pits or? Yeah, Wolf Sliner's in the pits. I don't know what happened to him. He don't want me behind him. He's got Hellstrom. Oh, it's Hellstrom in front of me. Not or uh, I thought it was Johan Larson, but no, it's Hellstrom. I'm sorry. Apologize to Hellstrom. That's how late I came in here. I literally made two laps, barely made two laps, and qualifying because that was already almost over. So that's how late I am. Follow car number one ninety-six in the left column. Well, he's not there. All right, Steve, be ready. Yeah, he's not there, so can't do that. Car right. 
Right side's clear. I wonder what happened to Peter. Just lost it. race. See what we can do. Hopefully this recording comes out okay. That bird, he's there in third. Thing is being consistent hopefully just not beating yourself but we'll decide to see i haven't had you know a ton of time driving it
Not that great a laps, really. Oh, it does a lot better than this. Ulstrom's still back there. That's the fastest lap. I don't plan it for that to stay up there. Sector 3 is now yellow. It looks like Rankin has spun off. Green flag sector three. I should be doing a lot better than this. Maybe the changes I made aren't working. Incident in sector one, yellow flag. Green flag in sector one. Fastest lap of the race. Your last lap time was at 202.88. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. The gap to drawbridge behind is now 2.9. like it. <laughs> I don't know, it's... I guess the changes I made are just not, not working. Two point four five. 
And I figured that. I just, that's not really that good a time. I was running a lot better than this before. A little better, but... Track's very hot. I think the track's 35C or something like that. It's pretty hot. really feels weird. Compared to that Gomez, I feel like I got a little toy. By any means, they're going to be coming through the field. Kish is pitting from position six. We think he'll come out just behind you.
Okay, Steve, you've used half your fuel. Yellow flag in sector one. Sector one is green. Tires look pretty good. Elstrom's up into third now. up a little bit. can't tell you how different it is driving with this wheel. <laughs> Moving out quick. Last it's night, kill up, Wilpy. Yellow flag. You're clear, incident clear. Oh, shoot. Ah! <laughs> really? <sighs> wow. Wow. 
car in front of us is now Hellstrom. Fastest lap for Hellstrom, 202.00. Watch your speed. We expect you'll be coming out of the pits into clear air. We expect to exit the pits in position 7. A few well, seconds it was a good race. Ranking. What a joke. I can't even see my pit. Well, it was a good race until then. I don't even know what to say. I mean, where am I supposed to go? He pulls right out and doesn't see me coming through? I, I don't know. One of those things. See if we can finish anywhere out, finish up a little bit. Whoa! Hey, he's everywhere. Thank you. The guy in front has just done a 202, 1-1-4. Okay, Steve, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. That's Zimmer up there, see if we can catch him. I don't think I'll be able to do anybody else. They're all 30, 40 seconds ahead of me. You're reeling. Zimmer in the gaps now, 6.6. .6. That's half distance, the fuel's okay.
New fastest lap for Wolf's leader. 201.64. Yeah, that's about more like it. Hellstrom is pitting from position one. He should come out just in front of you. The leader, Hellstrom, is pitting. Nicely done. Thank you. P six. At least my steering wheel isn't going out. <laughs> Better mine, not this one. But still wish I had my other one. Boy, that's aggravating. I've tried out so much different stuff, I just can't get it I just can't get it to stop doing it. Sector two is clear. Sector 2, yellow flag. Green flag, sector 2. 
I don't know, I might be able to catch Bando. I don't know, it'll be tough, but we'll see. Turning this wheel too much. Problem when you got a smaller wheel. Zimmer behind is increasing. It's now 5.8 seconds. Should make it the other way though, shouldn't it? I mean, if you're a smaller wheel, it should be. Oh, I don't get that. It feels like I'm turning it more. Set in the face. That's better. He is coming alive as the fuel comes off. Okay, Steve. Fifteen minutes left. That's fifteen minutes. Oh. 
Car left. Clear left. Good pass. Nice front. Hey, strawberry trying to win this. He's way ahead. Yellow flag, sector two. Yellow flag. We think Liner Never has crashed. Who? Green flag, you're clear of the incident. It's not bad, it just it needs a little it still needs a little bit more. It feels like I got a little understeer up on the nose at times. Especially through there. It's not rotating like I want up here in turn one. Little things. It's not rotating the way I want to. Okay, Steve. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left.
Yeah, that was better in turn one. I gained a couple tenths. It's right there. That's where I'm losing it. Pitching Derek, but I ain't gonna have near enough time. Staying here, it's Delta. If I push it hard enough. The leader has just done 201.86. That's good. Wide, big time. Understeering. Yeah, this it's definitely it's it's not bad. It's just it definitely still a few things it needs. For sure.
Okay, Steve. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. The leader's just done it. Two oh one point six nine. Oh, good lap. So this is late. You see, Wolfsliner's taking it easy. It's at two oh two eight something. Dang, we're dead to a four. Sector three is clear, green flag. It looks like a bandit has gone off. Bird ahead is now 18 seconds. See if I have a better lap this time. Nope. <laughs> I just couldn't shift. That's why I don't like this wheel. These shifters are too far away. Couldn't I couldn't shift the way I want to. Yeah, the front end feels like it's under steerance. on the last lap, or second to last. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Green flag, you're clear. I think we can do better this time. It seems like I'm always making a mistake going up the hill. Well, we got into fourth somehow. I don't know how we did that. Oh, Peter. He's in the pits. He must have crashed or something. I don't know. <laughs> We're done. Oh well, way it goes.
Uh, we need I need to do some more checking on the on the data. Um and see if I can make some adjustments because I'm not happy where it's at. It's got some good laps in it, it's a decent pace, but it's just not it's not where I want it to be. Um and doesn't feel doesn't feel the way I want it to be, so um definitely gotta make improvements. Um but again, you know, it's again it's just a fun race. It's a shame I, I got taken out there uh, by Torrance, but uh, man, it's the way it goes. We all make mistakes. It's the way it goes. Um, you know, maybe you know, I should have went in there a little bit easier. I did let up some, and because I couldn't tell where he was, I couldn't see if he was on the track or where, and I was just trying to decide what to do, you know, from that angle. But then he just started going, and then I had nowhere to go right at the last second. So. Just one of those things. Um, live and learn. Uh, but again, um, we'll go back, come back here, and we'll go over uh, the setup, and we'll also go over some stuff on the, on the setup that what stuff that I changed. All righty, well, we're back here at Mount Panorama. And uh, did some work um, on the setup, did some laps, and it seemed to be getting stronger as I went. So I was really happy with that. So let's jump behind the car and do a lap. And then we'll go over the setup. Again, coming up here just before the 50 turn in real late as you can that's what you really want I used every bit of the road there and the later the apex and the earlier you get on the gas you really makes a difference down here at the end and I, I of course right here pretty much right here before the 50 um, but right here at the end of this where the grass starts here, um, but basically right before the 50, down to second, pull it tight, let it run out wide. Again, come up here. And it really, this is just, you know, when you see this over here, that's usually with a turn in point. Down to first. Let it use all the track. Yeah, turn in early. It's the thing with the Aston Martin. It doesn't react uh, really fast, like maybe the you know maybe the Porsche or something like that. So you got to you got to turn in a little early because um, you definitely to stay wide open. You you need to cut this really close. If you miss it, you're gonna have to lift because you don't want to smack the wall on the other side. So again, um, you want to be as close to this curbing as you can. You see, I'm right up next to it. And look at that, use the whole whole road. Again, come up here. You should be able to hit fifth. If you shift into fifth, you're on a good, you went up there just right. Um, again, you should be able to, if you hit it just right, wide open all the way through here, or maybe just lift a little bit. Like I did just a, just a teeny bit, but I'm right next to the curbing. And again, right here, you're gonna probably have to lift here just a little bit. But again, you're, I was right on the edge of this curbing here. Ran a little bit of heavy on that. And again, on the brakes, um, basically right here where this wall is. Right there at the end of the, where the J car is right here. Uh, basically right here, but where the blue ends. And again, how to get close all the way down to second. And then down to first. Next to the wall. On the brakes hard. Down to first. Hold it tight. Get on the gas.
So basically, you see this brown spot right here, or before the 100. A lot of times, these get taken out, so you got to look for this. There's a brown spot right here and brown spots right here. You got to kind of look for these. Uh, because a lot of times people, like I said, will take them out. So, but if they're not there, it's just before the 100. Pretty good, pretty deep. Again, late apex right next to the curbing. Get on the gas. And come up here. Just past the 100, between the 100 and the 50. And again, I hold fourth. Because if you get into fifth, then you get... It almost to me it, it messes up your timing and, and and you end up slowing down a little bit so um i'd usually just hold fourth and then go down to first that was a 201.83 um so again which is my uh, personal best, I think, just by a teeny bit for the Aston Martin. Um, not my overall, but just for the Aston Martin. So again, you know, always good improvements. But again, that's race, uh, you know, with the, you know my normal race fuel load. So again, really good. Um, really happy with that. So let's go over the setup. Got 25.8 left front, 25.5 left rear, 25.3 right front, and 25.1 right rear. The toes negative 0.3 with the camber at negative 4 and the caster at 15.4. And the toe on the rear is a positive 0.2 with the camber at negative 3.5. Um, electronics are 2, 1, and 1. Now, I take this to 0 pretty much after a couple laps. I mean, I just use it. Um, to get some heat in the tires and things like that, not to lose it or get into a uh, tank slapper. But pretty much, you can run zero TC2 pretty much the whole time um, with, you know, after you get the tires, get some temperature in them. Um, you can, you know, if you're really good throttle control and you're not worried about it, you can go and change this to zero right off the get-go. But me, I just did it for a little bit of safety, a little bit of safety net. Um, but again, you know, it's that way it keeps the... Uh, from intruding um 56 why well, usually 55 liters 56 liters um number one brake pad wear was very very good on the tires any roll bars four on the front brake is 95 that's what i've been doing on all my uh setups lately trying to stay out of the abs as much brake bias is 60 you can go down to 59 with no problem steering all the way down Springs all the way around are 165,000 with a bump stop rate of 600 on the front and a bump stop range of 10. And on the rear, the bump stop rate is 900 and the bump stop range is 30. Any roll bar is 4 on the rear and the preload is 60. I've tried a lot of different things, spring setups. Um, you might go down one click all the way around on a um, uh, qualifying type thing. You know, when you got really low fuel. You might want to try that. I would probably go down one click all the way around on the springs uh, since you don't have the weight of the fuel. But again, I do this in case you have 60, 70, 80, 90 liters, whatever. It should be good for any of those, uh, you know, even a full tank. So again, you know, if you're really light, you might want to go down one click all the way around. Um, other than that, it's all good. Shocks are 0056 and 0055. Um, again, all dialed in with MoTeC. Um, and it came out pretty good. So again, in, you know, the Aston Martin goes over the bumps so well. So try to get him as close as I could. Arrow is all the way down on the front 55 and on the rear 73 with an eight wing and a three and a three in the brake ducts. And the front arrow variation is a 1.6 to the positive. So again, um, I, I really happy with it. I changed a you know, good amount of things, uh, on the right height. I went all, I had it one click up and one click left uh, less on the rear wing so again um speed is pretty much the same i mean you're talking less it's actually on the front straightaway it's actually a little better than it was with the seven wing and on the rear straightaway it's a teeny bit worse so uh, we're not even a mile an hour so it's so close i just the eight wing you can do more things be more aggressive in certain areas of the setup and also over the mountain, you have a lot more stability. Um, again, you know, you're racing this mountain, not just your competitors. So 
Again, uh, you need the car to be able when you're getting aggressive. It needs to be able to stick and not, you know, not the rear end come out. So again, I think the car shows it felt a lot better than it did in the race actually. So again, I think it's a really solid setup. Um, I'm not going to call it a safe setup, and you can see that in here. I don't have it in there, but it's it's not far from it. Um, I just wanted something that had good times, good pace, and really good on the driver drivability uh, category, as I want the car to be able to click the laps off and not have to um, pretty much go crazy. So again, I was pushing it a little bit hard, but it just seemed like the car wanted you to do it. It, it really reacted when you started pushing harder and harder and it just started, you really started dropping time. So again, I, you know, it's still really strong, still good down the straightaways and uh, overall, just an overall really good package. So again, I'll leave a link to this setup in the description along with my discord link, which all the setups that I have are on my discord. All of them are free no charge. Um, again, I appreciate any support. And again, I appreciate uh, if you like and subscribe, if you haven't done that and, or sharing would be great if anybody, you know, the plays ACC. But again, I hope you enjoyed the race from earlier and I hope this setup works good for you. And I hope you come back and visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.